Hello. <coughs> it's 8.02 p.m. So, yay, one more hour and I'm supposed to get to go. Well, I don't have home to go to, but the motel. But, um, well, I don't know if I have at the other school to work two more hours. And, um, you know, that would be, that would help some. You know, but I'm tired. I'm more mentally tired than physically tired at the moment. But, um, so, I mean, I've been having a lot of things bothering me at the moment. You know, I should have screenshot that me having 18 thumbs up on those foster care abuse videos that I did yesterday. I should have screenshot those because maybe must in the middle of the night, they, they re, must have reset the thumbs up and the thumbs down. <clears throat> you know, I'm really bothered by that because that was my one time I had like a lot of support and I know I was telling the truth. But speaking of my twin sister, I was bothered tonight um, see, when I'm bothered about something, I have a hard time trying to hold my emotions in, <clears throat> you know, especially when I know I'm falsely accused and innocent of something. Oh, one thing I didn't, I forgot to say in a previous, one of the previous videos about the disabled thing and being called greedy, my twin sister also used to bully, harass, and laugh at me and, and call me greedy and fat and greedy and stuff like that, you know during our high school years and I think even in adulthood. So, um, and she knows that the idea of calling me greedy is like a sensitive trigger for me. But then when, it was 2010 when she saw me and she said she never would have saw, saw the day where she thought that she would be bigger than me. And so she'd been bigger than me ever since, you know, and I didn't realize we were brainwashed to eat certain bad foods you know, that's, you know, junk food has addictive chemicals that make you want more, you know, but when you eat healthy, <coughs> the only healthy food that I think is addictive is that those sea, the seaweed. For some odd reason, it's addict, seaweed is addictive, like you can't stop eating it, but it's natural and healthy though, but Orange juice, like naturally pressed orange juice tastes good. But, um, you know, it's not something that you would keep coming, wanting to come back for more. You know, you can drink a serving and, and be satiated, like sat, satisfied, like, um, or even eating an orange. But back then, me and my twin sister used to do stuff like eat five oranges or eat like, um, three packs of oatmeal and stuff like that. And those psychiatric medications make you eat more, <clears throat> you know, but if you, if, if you eat something like McDonald's, you'd be hungry 30 minutes, hungry and irritable and grouchy 30 minutes later, and then add psych meds on top of that. That's like a disaster, you know, no wonder people be so aggressive and, you know, wanting to fight and everything, you know, I've had experiences where even skinny people would ch try nearly ch run over me with their cars trying to get into the McDonald's drive through when I'm walking on a sidewalk. That was pretty much a daily thing walking home in Los Angeles. And I'm like, what's the dog on hurry? But now I see. But y'all call me greedy? But anyway, <clears throat> another thing that was bothering me was um, and my twin sister, she did a video a week or two ago talk, called a vocal letter to the TI community, you know, persuading and brainwashing the t other targeted individuals to hate me <clears throat> and try to give this false proof that I'm not loyal, you know? So my twin sister has never been loyal to me ever, never been loyal to me, you know, always been a traitor, never respected me, never liked me. And the biological mom, Francis, and certain biological family members. Like, I used to be a mean, you know, mean when I was little, but because it was happening to me. And then I realized 
I don't have to be like this. I don't have to be mean because everybody else is mean. You know, so, you know, I I grew up to try to be nicer and more helpful and stuff like that. And so, I mean, my twin sister, she'll be loyal to certain other family members, but not never been loyal to me. And the biological mom, Francis, and certain other family members used to say, like, that they can tell that I have more love. For, I mean, after we became adults and got in fo- out of foster care, you know, that, that after, I mean, that, um, that they could tell that, um, that I have more love for my twin sister than she had for me. <clears throat> and, you know, and even other family members used to talk about how she would do me dirty and dog me over. And the same thing about like what one time Wyatt was telling my cousin Blake, Oh, candy. I mean, Oh, Ramona using the shit out of candy. Ramona using the shit out of candy. And he kept saying it repeatedly. Ramona using the shit out of candy. Blake, Ramona using the shit out of candy. But Wyatt was using me at that and taking advantage of me at that time too. <clears throat> so, um, no, I'm pretty much not the entire family, but a lot of family members. And then when I had my car, I could never have the car. Everybody else wanted to drive it or everybody else was driving my car. I couldn't have my car for myself, you know, off the foster family and biological family side, you know, <clears throat> you know, or a friend of the family, <clears throat> you know, um, I didn't even have my car to myself in 2006. Hell face Shelly and Greedy Dykes, Brian, greedy for control, food, control and food. You know, I call him Brian Greedy Dykes. Since you'll hit a female, that's why I call you that. But Shelly, you know, and Brian, they would use my damn car pretty much every day, like, Almost every any time they wanted, but they were too good to let me even ride in their, that that red F one fifty that they had. They were too good to let me ride in that. I only rode in that F one fifty one time. How many times had they driven my car? Almost well, not almost every day, but a lot, you know. <clears throat> so, the foster mom has driven my car quite a few times too, but when I had the black Hyundai Elantra years ago. And so, um, she only, she treated me like she, she didn't trust me to drive her van. I'm like, well, I, you know, I had to tell her, look, I mean, one day Shelly and Brian had my car. And so the foster mom, I was, I was supposed to go and get some seafood or, or something, or if not seafood, some food or whatever. And the foster mom was like, well, what happened to your car? I said, Shelly and Brian have my car. And, and so then I only got to drive that Dodge Caravan. I only drove that thing twice. And I didn't even like, I didn't like the way the pedals feel. I didn't like driving that. So, um, <clears throat> so, I mean, and my twin sister, I'm pretty sure when I had my Hyundai Elantra, I'm pretty sure she drove my car too. And I drove her vehicle, you, you know, drove her car a couple of times. Not that many. I, di- I didn't like that Chevy Cavalier, I didn't like the the same reason. I didn't like the way the pedals felt on that car. I didn't like that the car wasn't comfortable. I hated that car. <clears throat> but my twin sister used to let Dwayne do all the driving. And um, the biological sister Ramona would make remarks talking about, yeah, 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 Brandy had Dwayne chauffeur everywhere in her own car, whatever, you know. <clears throat> so, um... <clears throat> But I mean, it's like anything good I can get, I can never have it for myself, you know. And if I do, it's not for long. I wish I, I long for to get to have my own vehicle again, you know. But any anyway, speaking on the the loyalty thing, like my I wanted to clarify, um, my twin sister tried to falsely make it like as if I um doxed another targeted individual well what happened was in that video when she tried to make like i'm not loyal um when um i was sleep deprived and i screenshot a message that 
when I, I when because the girl was telling me, you know, don't you dare take no bribes or whatever. When you know they were slipping money underneath my my when I was staying at the extended stay, you know, and they had they had all that police thing going on. When I, after the situation, I got beat up and I was supposed to go to court and I don't know what was going on. And a private investigator came and stuff like that. So. The, the person, the so-called, you know, targeted individual, she was like, don't take no bribes or whatever. And it's like, you know, because, but then I was told that I was ungrateful for, you know, questioning the $200 slid, slid under my door, you know, <clears throat> but she was like, don't you dare take no bribes or whatever. And so I showed her about the deals that Alex and other online perps have offered me. I never accepted any deals or bribes. So I screenshot for myself, for my own personal records, I screenshot myself telling her that I did not take those bribes or sell out or anything. And I woke up the next morning not realizing that when I meant to send them to um, my Google Drive for my personal, um, for my personal records like my personal um documentation and stuff me telling her that I never done such a thing you know and that I never will do such a thing because she's like did they turn you I I forgot how she said it but she's she's like did they turn you I said no they did not turn me you know they did not flip me into a perp or nothing like that you know so um <clears throat> so she <clears throat> When and, and so I woke up the next morning. I thought I I was so sleep deprived and I was very tired. So I didn't even realize that I accidentally sent that screenshot to her. When I meant, I'm like, how did I make a mistake and do that? But I meant to send it to my um my Google Drive for my personal records is for me telling her that I never sold out and became a perp, never flipped or became a perp, and so. You know, she got mad and blocked all for all cut off all contact with me. I mean, cut off the text message, phone number. Tw I didn't have Twitter at the time, but maybe YouTube or something. She cut off all email, everything. So I could not get to talk to her to try to explain, you know, apologize and explain that I'm sorry. It was an honest mistake. I was sleep deprived. I did not even realize it. And um, it could have been a thing that... um. You know, the perps probably, you know how when you send something somewhere and then they, they um you know, they flip and, and reroute it to something else against your will. Perps do that too when they stalking and watching everything and they want to, you know, keep us targeted individuals divided and not trusting each other and stuff like that. And it's like targeted individuals, they fight amongst each other and call each other, you perp, you perp, you perp, when... Um, the real perps, they got more respect for. Targeted individuals dog each other out and do each other way more dirty if they think you a perp. But then perp perps, they got more, more respect for. As I said, people got so much respect for Chief Handler. You know, even the fake T.I. perps get attacked by him. I don't know why that is. <clears throat> but, um... So every time I see Chief Handler, he got a new account and I block it before he can come harass me or try to get my channels taken down. So, um, so I just wanted to clarify that. Um, but my twin sister try to twist and make it like I'm just a fucked up, cruel person who just ain't loyal to nobody. And that's not the case. I mean, a lot of people was you know, people who haven't, whose minds haven't been corrupted about me with the smear campaigns and lies, they'll say that Candy's a very nice person, very generous, very giving. Candy has a heart of gold. Candy has a big heart. Candy's a very nice person. But then my family would be like, oh, you don't know Candy like I do. Like man narcissistic manipulation to try to brainwash people to think a certain kind of way. I mean, like... You I don't know other people who whose family members, you know, brainwash everybody to hate that one family member. Like they are on a militant mission to get everybody to hate you and try to destroy you and take you down. You know, so 
my 15 minute break is over and I got to get back to work. And so, um, I'll see y'all if not tonight, then tomorrow. So bye.